فقد وصف الإمام الخميني إسرائيل وصفا واقعيا ودقيقا جدا ما سماها من غدة السرطانية وكلنا يعلم بأن السرطان طبيعته أن ينتشر في الجسد وأن يفتك وأن الحل الوحيد للسرطان هو استئصاله وعدم الاستسلام له وعدم أعطاء الفرصة له كالدولة المتحضرة طوان الله على الإمام الخميني الإمام الخميني إسرائيل وصفا واقعيا ودقيقا جدا ما سماها من غدة السرطانية وكلنا يعلم بأن السرطان طبيعته أن ينتشر في الجسد وأن يفتك وأن الحل الوحيد للسرطان هو استئصاله وعدم الاستسلام له وعدم أعطاء الفرصة له كالدولة المتحضرة طوان الله على الإمام الخميني لما سماها الشيطان الأكبر طوال تاريخ البشر دولة وقيادة متوحشة ونخبة متوحشة كما هو الحال الآن في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في هاي إسرائيل في قلب هذه الأمة العربية والإسلامية أي إسرائيل إذا بتتوفر إرادة لدى النخب لأن الإرادة لدى الأمة موجودة ليست أكثر من طعمة آكل لقمة وحدة بتطلع خالصة علاقة حزب الله بالجمهورية الإسلامية لقيادة الثورة الإسلامية في إيران لا أبقى لحظة واحدة في أجهزته لو لم يكن لدي يقين وقطع في أن هذه الأجهزة تتصل عبر مواتب إلى الولي الفقيه القائد المبرئ للذمة الملزم قراره على مستوى العلاقة العضوية والجوهرية مع قيادة الثورة الإسلامية في إيران وولاية الفقيه هذه المسألة بالنسبة لنا أمر مقطوع به وعنا أذكياء وعنا تقنيين وعنا ناس متخصصين وبالتعاون أيضا مع الخبراء في الجمهورية الإسلامية نحن أصبح لدينا قدرة على تحويل صواريخنا الموجودة بالآلاف على تحويل صواريخنا إلى صواريخ دقيقة لا يوجد هدف إسرائيلي في البر أو في البحر لا تطاله صواريخ المقاومة لدينا قدرة بحرية ما ما بدنا نبالغ قدرة بحرية ما كافية لتحقيق الوضع المطلوب. All right, shalom everybody, peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope uh, uh, you were able to view the video uh, and you heard what this man planned to. You see, when they say that Israel is a cancer, <clears throat> for them Christianity is a cancer, Judaism is a cancer. Jews are cancers. Almost there is zero Christians in Iraq. Uh, they are doing the same in Syria, and they are doing the same in Lebanon, and they are doing the same in Egypt. And they uh, uh, already now in, in Turkey, there is almost zero Christians. This is a land was 100% Christians. So there is some wicked people who they claim to be Christians, they go against Israel. When in fact, the existence of Israel is it preventing the genocide against the Christians in all over the Middle East? And then after they finish in the Middle East, are they going to stop there? No. They are already they are coming to Europe. So there is some people that are wicked, filthy, greedy, just because of money, just because they worship themselves. They all, you know, they go against me just because of that. But all of us, we knew. There is no way a Christian, he claimed that he pray and he say in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You do not know the Father, you do not know the Son, you do not know the Holy Spirit, because you are supporting the one who eliminate your own people. This faith has come back. He made it clear. We are going to eliminate Israel. And what what does exactly mean? He says we Arab, we Muslims. The Arab and the Muslims. The, when they say Arab, this guy, he worked for the Persian. But they he used this term just to make the Arab join. But he is the same person who was killing Muslims in Syria for almost 13 years. And until now, nothing changed. And until now, they are fighting with Muslims in Iraq, in Syria. Not long time ago, Hezbollah attacked the Kurdish in north of Iraq. 
So anyone stop against their caliphate, the Shia caliphate, the Persian Empire of Shia have to be eliminated. And Israel, they thought of it as an easy target because, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. As you see, some people, they claim to be Christians. They will join us based on their hatred to the Jews. But we know that Israel, yes, the majority are Jews, but there's a lot of Christians. And Christians, not only they are surviving between the Jews, but they are thriving, and the number of Christianity or Christians is increasing so fast in Israel. We can preach the gospel anywhere in Israel, but we cannot do the same in the land they control. Anyone can convert to Christianity in Israel, or he can leave. But if you leave your Shia religion or Sunni religion in Iraq, in Iran, you will be executed. So anyone who go with them, claiming he is not against them, but remember carefully, Jesus says, the one who is with us, you know, who's the, who's not against us, he is with us, right? So the one who is against Israel, he is with who? He is with them. So those people have, you have to fight them. You have to expose them. It doesn't matter what they claim to be. Christians, non-Christians, atheists, woke. And the funny is, you will find them all, they are in one line. The woke, the hippie, and those who claim to be conservative, like uh, Candanis or Tucker Carlson. All of those, they are satanic and they hate Israel. That's why they like Andrew Tits. But today, my topic is not about this. I received, if you remember, two days ago, yesterday, yesterday, sorry, I mentioned that the Israeli already they sent commandos, or let us say special units, uh, to clean the ground in order to go and do invasion inside Lebanon. And this invasion is not to occupy Lebanon. All of us, we knew, they don't want any, not even one centimeter in Lebanon. So we can call it an invasion to occupy. It's an invasion to clean. I am really amazed about the Israeli army. Almost every half hour, they are eliminating a terrorist who is big leader, not just, uh, you know, like, you know, a guy carrying a clash and cough. No, they knew their apartment. They knew their bathroom. They knew their bed where it's located. I mean, if you, if you see the news, you will not believe what we are talking about. The list of those who they are eliminated is beyond imagination. This is the Israeli army now. This is pictures from today. They are preparing for the invasion. But I confirm to you that already there is Israeli army units inside, uh, inside Lebanon. Uh, those are sent to do cleaning, you know, to prepare for the army, like to be sure there's no traps, there's no, you know, <clears throat> to be sure that the tanks will be safe when they go through. And usually what they do, they do carpet bombing to open a road in the way. But even that might be not enough. Uh, you have to send some troops in the ground. Uh, the plan of Israel is working not only perfect. I mean, it is it's beyond perfect. Until now, the uh, Hezbollah, when we say Hezbollah, we are not talking about Yemen only. Yemen, Iraq, we're talking about Iran, actually. All the power of Iran. They could not even kill a chicken in Israel since the operation of Israel in, in, in Lebanon started. Actually, they killed nine cows. cows nine cows. Uh, in, in the other side, the Israeli not only, only blowing the balls of all those leaders, not only made thousands of them go blind they are hunting them one by one in fact just yesterday uh, the hezbollah they announced a new leader a new leader for hezbollah after nasrallah was killed 30 minutes after the israeli killed the guy can you believe it they just announced him to be a leader nasrallah is gone catch a boy and by the way, they found his body, according to them. 
and they announced a new leader 30 minutes after the guy was shish kebab. No kidding. It's not even th 31 minutes. And this is why everybody is astonished and everybody is scared. All the enemies of Israel are terrified. You see, when October 7 happened, everybody started looking down at Israel. If those Hamas, they can attack, what we can do then? So everybody started barking like a dog. They thought Israel is collapsing. This is why uh, they were like going crazy against Israel because they thought Israel is weak. It's so weak. <clears throat> the one is asking me about Super Chat. I don't activate it. I don't want it because YouTube will control what I say. In fact, Ramble, I noticed for the last uh, two days, uh, each time we go live, they are canceling my my life. Uh, I hope now it's working. Uh, I did not put the word Israel in the title because I noticed when I put it there, Ramble, after a few minutes from starting, they are, because it doesn't make sense, you know, right away they are canceling my... Uh, so I hope Ramble is not playing games with me, you know, because it doesn't make sense. Anyway. So, uh, uh, I don't have super chat, I don't want it, and I don't want you to, I'm not doing here a business, we are here for, for something more important than anything else. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, we know that there is people that are here uh, just to do super chat. If there's no super chat, they will not even show up. In fact, maybe 99% of those who do YouTube. But anyway. Yeah, Rumble is working now, but I noticed for the last uh, uh, the last two time, the, as long the title about Israel something go wrong. And let us see today. I did not put the title Israel. I think they are flagging any title about the war. Uh, maybe I don't know. I got, but we have two uh, days in the row. In the row, they they feel. Uh, <coughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so uh, the, the information I have that the Israeli army already is inside Lebanon, but not in a massive size. And they are going to capture, let's say they are snipers, commandos, very well trained. They will capture high point to prepare, to be sure like there is no, you know, uh, ambush. You know, the Israeli army are very well expert, especially, especially after almost a year war inside Gaza. This war gave them a lot of experience, you know, fighting from room to room. Uh, street in Gaza is way, way, way difficult more than invading uh, uh, into Lebanon. You cannot even compare, you know, because those are camps. They, there was, there's no road, you know, the road is like uh, uh, 60 centimeter wide. Some road even you cannot even walk with your shoulder normally, you have to go side by side. So the war the Israeli had in Gaza, it was the biggest training ever for wars in city, or let us say guerrilla war. Uh, so you have, you know, they have a lot of experience. They have a lot of uh, uh, training, uh, life training for the last eight months. And now Gaza is not really too much important, uh, even though I heard today they destroy one tunnel because they are very comfortable in Gaza. Gaza are already under their control. Still, there are some areas here and there, but it's not a big deal. So the big job is done in Gaza. And now, I think the Israeli, they are going to go inside Lebanon. And if I am in charge, I will take at least 30 miles inside Lebanon. Lebanon is very small, by the way. Lebanon is not a big country. It's like, you know, but it's, uh, it's big still. Uh, I mean, Israel is small too. Israel is very small. So they should take 30 kilometers, and when time to sign peace, those this land which they occupy, they should not withdraw from it unless, unless they will guarantee not a single terrorist will take his arm into this land anymore, forever. Israel don't want anything from Lebanon, they just want. Leave us alone. That's all. Those dogs who have rabies, they will not leave Israel alone. So Israel had to do something. They waited 10 months and they are shooting at them. 
and those Hezbollah, because Netanyahu he waited, they thought Israel is weak. And they said to themselves, as long as we are not shooting and killing a big number of civilians, eh, we will hurt them. You know, we shoot every day rocket, they cannot go back to the houses. We can disturb the economy, destroy it. Uh, we can scare them. Uh, we, we shoot at any ship coming from uh, the Red Sea by the Houthi, uh, etc. So we will cause a big problem for them and we will make them surrender. And now Hezbollah and all the rabbits of Iran, they are suffering from severe diarrhea. But what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next is bigger than what you think. Let me see if I can find here. This is the map. This is Israel, as you see. And now we have Syria, you see Jordan. And you see there's a big, big white spot in the middle of Israel. This is the stupid Israeli when they give up their land to so-called Palestinian, where they are not, in return of peace. What the Jews get in return of peace agreement, they got a, excuse my language, they got a piece of shit. All those territories become a center of terrorism. They said, okay, we will make Al-Rasa uh, Al-Afat a, a, a president. We will call him president. We will give you government. You can have your own police. Uh, we will not go there. We will leave you alone. Leave us alone. Did they leave them alone? They keep stabbing. Since the agreement, they stab Jews. They stab Christians. They stab anyone in the street in Israel, in the bus station, anywhere. They stab them and they run to those areas. So the Israeli should not do the same stupid mistake again. You have to clean those areas. And in order for those people to have any form of government, to govern themselves, you have to be sure that they will never have arms. It, it is a must. Like they can have a gun, like a policeman, you know, for in their territory. But not even a Klashenkov. Now in Lebanon, things is going to go out of control. And I am just guessing. You know, in Lebanon, there is many, many forces. There is Sunni, there is Christians. Christians are divided, Sunni are divided, Shia are divided. Everybody is divided there. Like as an example, there's many Shia, they are against Hezbollah. There's a, there's, a, there's a party, which is a terrorist too, but they are not like, we want to destroy Israel. It's called the, the, uh, uh, the leader of, of this party, they call him Nabi Barri. He is the leader of the movement of Amal, but they are terrorists too. But those are not like a crazy about Israel and they are not sponsored by Iran. So now those people, they will find an opportunity for them to grow because Hezbollah is going to shrink. The Sunni, which is exist in the south of Lebanon and in the north of Lebanon, they hate the Shia. In fact, there's tons of videos posted online by, by Muslim Sunni. I'm trying not to play videos which can make me be flagged or something, you know. Uh, they were celebrating. They are celebrating actually every day. <clears throat> the death of Nasrallah and the death of every one of Hezbollah. We showed you the, the chat. Uh, just yesterday and the day before. In the chat. Let me see if I can find you some. I think most of them they are in um, in X or in TikTok. Look at this, uh, you know. Let, let us see this video here. <clears throat> Those are Muslims in the north of Syria. <clears throat> I will not stay long because my voice is not doing good. To give my voice a break a little bit.
they are shooting happy because Nasrallah died. By the way, all of those are terrorists too. So don't think they are better. Don't 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 misunderstand me. They are no better. But this is how bad it is, you know. There's a lot of enemy. They hate each other. They hate each other to death. I mean, Hezbollah killed from those. If I say a hundred thousand, I will not be exaggerating. So there's a lot of blood between them. And this is why I'm saying I expect things to go out of control in many locations. Lebanon. The Christians are not a joke to play with them, and nobody will play with them. I'm sure of that. And there is many reasons, you know, that because the Christian Lebanese out the country is more than 20 million. Just give you an idea. And most of them, they are very wealthy, rich. So if a war happened again in Lebanon, weapon will come like rain to the Christians. They are not going to be left alone, at least by the Lebanese Christians. Hezbollah is, uh, you know, uh, uh, all his power is coming because of Iran supporting them. Now I heard the news. Let me see if I can draw in the screen. Yeah, I think I can. Uh, the Israeli army now, the Israeli, I can or not. What happened? Why I cannot draw? I don't know. So the Israeli army here sending like what happened? Why and there's nothing showing on the screen. I don't know. I, I downloaded this thing for supposed to work. Here we go finally. Uh -huh. So I, I like now the Israeli uh, warships, uh, fast boats and heavy duty boats are coming in front of Lebanon coast. And they are going to not allowed. Uh, let me see if I can change the color. How to change the color in this thing? I'm not sure. Maybe you click here, choose the color. No. Where you change the color? Hey, color, where are you? I don't know. Ah, here. Okay, let us make something can be seen better. Yellow. All right. Thank you. So the Israeli army is going now to inspect any ships are coming to Lebanon they will not you know like uh, block the, the the ports they will just inspect any they will do the they will be the police on Lebanon and tell the Lebanese and the problem with them solved and now they are hitting all the areas with Syria They are destroying bridges, they are hitting mountain areas, all, all the roads which is considered as a road to supply to Hezbollah is under the monitor of Israel. And anyone he tried to go through there, he will be eliminated right away. They have the, the drones are flying 24 hours, seven days a week in that area. All the area actually with the borders with Syria. All right. So all this border here is monitored by. Uh, anyway, not not all the borders is good for for uh, like uh, transforming arms because there's a lot of mountains in this location. So not everywhere is a good place for them to carry. Uh, I mean, there are certain roads because you have to use uh, trucks. You have you cannot just use donkeys. Uh, even some mountains is impossible to to climb them. So now the Israeli. They will take this area here, the, the, the invasion they would do is not going to be only from here, it's going to be from here. And they will cut this part out of Lebanon. And then in order to find or to make a peace agreement with, with, the, uh, with Lebanon, which is not the enemy really, the, Lebanon is not the enemy, but whoever is going to be the government of Lebanon. Now or in the future, let us make it red. So in order to guarantee, uh, like you see when you move this thing, let us clean it. Uh, I have to clean it. Ah, here. 
clean it. Okay, do it again. All right. So in order here to be sure that in the future no more any garbage terrorist will be, the Israeli have to clean it and take full control of it. And most likely, I, I'm just guessing, they will arm their own militants from the Lebanese. And I will not be surprised if many join, including Shia, uh, Shia and uh, Muslims and Christians, to be uh, sponsored by Israel in order to secure that area. And they are going to be part of any in like a future, uh, let us say, agreement that those people, they have to be the eyes of Israel and nobody can punish them for joining or supporting Israel. Uh, in the same time, Syria is being punished badly by the Israeli army. Every almost every day, like today, there is an attack in the, in the north. The, the map here doesn't show me the whole map, but all the way in the, in the Iraqi border, they destroyed, uh, uh, let us say, uh, a camp for terrorism or terrorist. You know, they destroy it and they clean it and eliminate a lot of terrorists. They did an attack here in the in the border with Syria in this area, where a weapon is transformed. You know, I mean, the Israelis are scaring the hell of everybody. Everybody have to behave. As simple as that. In the same time, the Iranian. Just when the Iranian president, he made a speech, he called the American, American are our brothers. Have you ever heard of a joke like this before? American are our brothers. This is what the Iranian president, he said. This has never happened before. Those people, they shout day and night, death to America, death to Israel. You can go check it out and see how he said, Americans are our brothers. So he's now kissing the ass of the American, afraid of a Trump is coming. Hoping that he can make a deal with Obama. Sorry, I mean Obama, yeah, Biden is Obama. Uh, the real president is Obama. Before Trump maybe, possibly, become a president. So suddenly, Americans are our brothers after more than 35 years shouting death to America and supporting Hezbollah, which killed a lot of American in, in, in Lebanon. So the Iranian, what people notice, uh, they want almost silence about Nasrallah and what the Israeli is doing. Like, do you notice where is, where is Iran? Where is the army of Iran? Why you don't do something? Where you been? Where is the one uh, where is the one who can, uh, like, who threat, who not? But they notice their size. They notice that Israel, you know, they are no match. They are avoiding, actually, any, any, any kind of even fight by hands with, with the with Israeli. Because they knew that the Israeli can wipe all the refinery of Iran, which is the source, the only source of income of Iran in two seconds. In two seconds. So things will change so fast, and I think uh, finally Israeli are doing something to change the ground. Uh, now there is other fear might happen, and I want to talk about it before we finish this video, because I said I'm not going to stay long. The other problem might happen, not for Israel, that will not be a problem for Israel, but this will be a problem in, in Lebanon. The the Muslims in here, the Muslims here, the Muslims in Beirut, the Muslim Sunni, they hate the Shia to death. Hezbollah, they killed the former prime minister of Lebanon, who was a Muslim Sunni. His name is Al Hariri. They killed him by a suicide. It's not so. They claim it's suicide actually, but it was not. And even the international court, they found Hezbollah guilty with the crime. And Hezbollah refused to deliver the one who killed him to the court. And mostly he lived in Iran. And by the way, I mean, one, he killed him. This is Nasrallah. He is the one behind it. Because it was a huge, big explosion. Like, I mean, many buildings did, did disappear from, from existence in a second. So the Sunni are boiling and I saw many videos in Lebanon where Sunni are carrying arms in the street and they are cutting roads 
and they are not allowing Shia to cross in their area. From the other hand, the Christians are no better. They hate Hezbollah. And they are very well armed too. Very. And they are very heavy. Like, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> you don't want to play with them. And the Shia themselves, they are divided. So there is Shia, they would love to go at war with Hezbollah. So let us see what we have now. We have a lot of a fuel. Are you getting my point? We have tons of a fuel which can erupt any time, any moment to start war in Lebanon again. Which is very, very possible. Like those uh, in the news, they like you will see a Christian guy saying to uh, the news, we feel sorry for, uh, you know, uh, the Shia in the Dahia. We are brothers at the end of the day. We are all of us Lebanese. Yada, yada, yada. We know that it's garbage. It doesn't work. We know how much they are enemy of each other. All right? All of them, they say the same in the TV. But in the ground, everybody is sharpening his teeth. Every one of them. The Daruz, the Christians, the Sunni, even the Shia are against Hezbollah. So things, if they go out of control, all what you need to do is one group attacking other group with machine guns and things will go out of control. Same might happen in Syria. Many terrorist groups in Syria who oppose the government, they are in the north, at north. Like the map here doesn't show really the north. But anyway, we will make it like here, the north. Let us say out of the map. At the end, here. But for sure it's far, you know, but, but because the, the map here is limited. So, those terrorists who they are sponsored by Turkey, they suffer a lot. Of casualty because of Hezbollah. This is why we saw them uh, here. They are dancing, and not only here. I mean, everywhere. There's many. They are so happy, so excited. Like wow, you know. If we go to the chat, uh, like the chat we showed you yesterday, you will see how many Muslims celebrating, saying "Allahu Akbar," Nasrullah is uh, you know is dead like a rat, etc. So. The Muslims are in a fuel, and those are armed too. And now if they notice Hezbollah is getting weaker, the war will refresh its blood in Syria. However, the story in Syria is a different story. Because it's not the Syrian regime is going to protect the Syrian regime. It is Putin. So things will stay in control. Not much different will happen. If we go, uh, let us see if we can find a uh, war map. I'm trying to just to find you. Uh, a map we can use. Let us see. Okay, here we do. This one is a good one. Perfect. They have a color to show you uh, who control those groups. You know, every group. So the green area in Syria is controlled by the terrorists who supported by Erdogan. Do you see it in the top? Erdogan invade the green area, which is in the upper side. Let us uh, make a drone again. Here, this area. When Trump was in business, in the office, because Trump is a potato, and he, for some reason, whatever uh, uh, Erdogan do, he don't move, he don't even fart. So 
Erdogan, he occupied this area and he kicked all the Kurdish and he brought Muslim Sunni who they are Syrian and he put them there. Those are all terrorist area. Same as in this area is controlled totally by uh, terrorist. Some of them even Al-Qaeda sponsored and protected by Turkey. The yellow area is controlled by uh, the Kurdish. Let us make a different color around them. Let us see. We make. Uh, let us use a blue. So this area here, all of it is under the Kurdish, which is a big chunk of Syria actually. And this is not because the Kurdish are really powerful, but because the American, they were able to preserve the Kurdish in control in this area. However, if a Trump he won. Trump is an idiot when it's come to this. He might withdraw immediately because actually this is what he did. When he, he was in the office, he announced he would withdraw from Syria because he promised no more war, no more troop abroad, and he was going to betray the Kurdish and throw them to Turkey. And then Turkey will occupy all this area and then they can control all the oil, which is here, a lot of oil, oil and gas. Now, the brown area is the one controlled by uh, the Assad regime. All this area, the brown, is controlled by the Assad regime. Other green area here, this one is controlled by uh, a terrorist who is sponsored by USA. They are Muslim Sunni terrorists sponsored by USA. So USA protect those terrorists in this area. And the Syrian regime, neither the Russian, they can take it again because the, the American, they say, no one can get close here. That's it. Those are our boys. So, and then if we go and we check this area here, we will find in this area is where, let us make another color to fit with the... Uh, with the brown all these areas here is heavily controlled either by Alawi and Shia or Christians heavily when I say heavily it's mean heavily this is like impossible area to invade because the mountains area is controlled by the Christians mostly and they have their own forces now after the war and they are very heavy uh, armed. And the the Alawi are all over this area, like Latakia, uh, Tartus, uh, etc., all those cities. So this area is heavily controlled by Shia. However, now all the brown area we see here, all this area, is totally controlled. In the appearance, is controlled by the Syrian government, but in reality, it's controlled by Putin. By the Russian all right so the Russian they took over all this area and this area is extremely important because here is where all the phosphate which you can make uranium from it extremely huge number of phosphate which is extremely important for fertilizing too you can make weapon from it you can make explosion you can uh, uh, you can generate uranium there's a lot of things you know this is like a treasure and they have a lot of go uh, gas and oil in those areas too. This is why Russia was focusing to take over this area because this is a very important. This is why all the brown area is now controlled by Russia. Even though like the president of Syria, he says he is the president. But we know, I mean, who is the one in charge? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, he's in charge. How we can uh, erase those? I don't know, the software doesn't have a race. Uh, I cannot even see highlight to erase. Where is the erase? The only thing to... Okay. All right. So now we see what's going on. And this is Lebanon, as you see in the map. Syria surrounding Lebanon from the north and from... the I mean the south of Lebanon. All right. The south of Lebanon is Israel. The east of Lebanon is Syria. The north of Lebanon is Syria again. In fact, most 90% of the borders of Lebanon is with uh, Syria. Uh, 
So here it might go out of control too, and the war might erupt, but as long the Russians are there, I don't think anyone will dare to fight. However, the story will not be the same when it's come to Lebanon. Because Lebanon story is very different. The if we go here, if we zoom here, let us use the other map again. Maybe I should find a better map. Hold on, give me a second. I suppose I'm not going to stay long. Are you guys enjoying the scene this or nobody care? Do you want me to give you more details or that's not really important? Are you with me? Is it you find it interesting or this is boring information? You don't need it. All right. Because I don't want to waste my time, you know, if people don't care. Uh, let us see if we can find something now uh, like there is some maps are made in the internet but uh, you know i don't trust really uh, those maps like maps for religion maps you know because everyone will try to make the other side is uh, uh, like minority you know uh, like if the one who draw the map the shia they will make the shia the majority if the one who draw the map the, the christians etc you know like you know how the, the game is but we will try to find something a little bit not necessarily accurate but just to give you an idea all right let's see this map here so this is the map of lebanon and if you look with me here, do you see the green area? The green supposedly is the Shia. The page, like not brown, is the Maronite, which is 29, it says here 29%. Uh, Sunni, 22%. Uh, Druze is 7%. Other Christians is 22%. So 22% with the 29%, that will make it, you know, almost like the half of the population. However, I believe all those numbers are false. But it's just to use the map for the purpose of uh, education. Uh, let us uh, highlight. I don't know, this map is easy to zoom in to the point you cannot even use it. Let us see. So if you look in the, in the south, in the south, let us go here, where, where, the, where the war is happening with Israel. This area is full of Shia, as you see. However, it's not totally Shia, as the map is saying. There's a lot of Christians too. But let us say, it's dominated by the Shia in the south. And this is why you see here some areas, those are Christians. Those lines are Christians area. And this area here totally is a Christian. Which I think Israel is going to use it because the, the Christians are the one they can trust to get uh, like to get inside. And they will not be worried about being assassinated. They can have a good, let us say, a friend. Uh, I cannot even see the thing. Hey, come on, buddy. Maybe I need to move it up. Let us see. All right, maybe I need to close it here so I can. All right, okay. This is why. All right. So, this area here, what we see, let us highlight again. It use a more dark color, maybe black. 
all right so this is the area where Israel they are very much interested I wouldn't know how, how far they will go but they are going to take all over for sure this area because this is where the Israeli borders is here so they might push even farther here to be sure that this border here all this border is not going to be under the risk of attack by any terrorist in the same time when it's come to Israel, to to Syria uh, we cannot go in but hold on I know how this map is not this software is not really easy to use now oh, we can go in oh, okay all right So in the other side, Israel is occupying the Jolan height, which you see here, and Israel consider it as a part of, uh, you know, historically actually, uh, the Jolan height have synagogues and they used to be part of Israel. However, by international law, it's not anymore. All right. So the Israeli can claim it because they have historic, uh, but this is we are talking about thousands of years ago, you know, but they have there is evidence that the, the Jews they used to be living in the Jolan Heights and it used to be their land too. So here it says Israeli occupied, but I mean the Israeli can claim it and actually they did. And Trump he gave it to them by saying, I agree with you. However, it's not up to you. I mean they still you have the one who controlled the land is the one who owned the land usually. Because you know here we go. Turkey is our our land, not the land of Turkey. But Turkey have it so it's their land now until you take it back. It's not about the law, it's about who can take the land. It's not about what is right and wrong. So even if this land is the land of Israel uh, for a thousand of years, they will not be able to take it unless they have force. And this is the whole story. It's about who is strong. The big fish will eat the small fish and nothing changed. The ocean is the same as the land. So the Israeli now, in order to, uh, to guarantee that nothing will happen to them, uh, if you look with me here, you will see this area it says the ruse. You see here the color? The ruse. So this area here is full of the ruse. And it's mixed with the Christians. Now those Duru's are very sneaky. They might say we are a they are they are a friend of the strong. Who is the winner winner? They are his friends. Alright? They have zero loyalty. Whoever marry their their mommy, they call him daddy. All right, the Christians are different. The Christians are different. This is the same story, but this is how the Druze is. And this area here, there is the Druze too, as you see. Uh, so, the 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 Druze, uh, they can switch sides so easy. It's about, as I said, who is winning. So if the Israeli attack uh, Lebanon and occupy Lebanon, the Druze in second day will say we are with Israel. The second the Israeli leave, they will say, Allahu Akbar, we kicked out the Israeli. They are very, 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 very fake. And I stand with my word. I know there's some, they will say, there's a Druze who they are fighting in the Israeli army as we speak. Yes, because Israeli are the winner. Whoever, as I said, whoever the boss, is the boss so to make it simple as you see the map here is very complicated a lot of uh, division a lot of religions and uh, uh, the Christian usually they are controlling uh, like mountains area and this is the green area where Baalbek you hear always in the news that Israel is attacking Baalbek this is where all the drugs of Hezbollah is growing this area Number one crops they, they 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 grow is cocaine, heroin, and everything you can imagine. All right, this is where the money is coming from, the major money, not, not only the money of Iran. So here there is a big center for the Shia. This is all Shia territory, but this is a little bit far from the border of Israel. However, the Israeli they have to clean it. To be sure there's no long-range missiles are stored there so they have different mission 
So they might do some kind of a precision, uh, uh, let us say, attack or even ground invasion. But like, let us say, commanders kind, you know, the same they did in Syria uh, uh, a month ago. Or the same they did in Syria in 2004, where they destroy uh, a nuclear facility was uh, uh, North Korea was trying to build for Syria. And again, the Israeli are nobody can beat them with the intelligence. They were able to find out the location. They were able to find what is they are doing inside, and they were able to destroy it in a blink of an eye. So the Israeli now they are focusing an area very much, and they are focusing with the borders of Syria here, because this is where the weapon is coming to. All right. So they have a big mission to clean this area. which is very much infestated with drug dealers or are members of Hezbollah. So what Hezbollah do, you know, they come to this area, they say, listen, we need money. You grow drugs, you, you grow it. We protect you, we take it from you, we import it. As simple as that. And then they imported Saudi Arabia to Jordan, to Emirat, to Bahrain, to Syria, through Syria, all the way to Turkey, Turkey to Europe, etc. Big business. We are talking about billions and maybe hundreds of billions of dollars. This is why those people, they were growing, because they can hire easy anybody. You want to have a job? Join Hezbollah. Give you salary, give you health insurance. They are, a, they are a country by their own. They become a country by their own just by the drug business. It's like the cartel in, uh, in, in, in Mexico. The cartel in Mexico, they have more money than the government. Government is bankrupt compared to the cartel. They, they even have tanks. If you go right now and search what they have, so Hezbollah is the same. It's a big drug dealer organization in the name of Allah. If you go right now search for Hezbollah and drugs documentary, you will see many of them in YouTube. Uh, not done by Christian or Jews, etc. No, this is real. This is real, big deal. And then Hezbollah, they are very, very sneaky. They invest their money to do money laundry in international banks. In fact, not long time ago, a bank was closed in Canada because the whole bank, they found out it's owned by Hezbollah. The whole bank. So they put the money in the bank, you know. Nobody asked the bank where the money is coming. It's a bank, you know. And then the bank do transition for them to launder the money. So nobody will ask them. So now it become legal. They own gas station, you say. They own uh, 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 grocery stores. This is all money laundry. So they sponsor their members who live abroad, anywhere, Europe, America, Canada. You, you will find someone just came from Lebanon yesterday, a week after he owned a gas station. How you can do it? Impossible. Oh, my family, they send me money from Lebanon. It is Hezbollah. So they send you the money to do laundry. In the same time, whatever income you make, whatever income you, you make is not going to be yours. They will give you percentage, the rest you see that legally to Lebanon, send it to your family. But in fact, you are sending it back to Hezbollah. So it's a huge, massive network. It's not just Lebanon and, you know, as some people, they think, okay, those are fighters, we page them and they are done. It's a massive network of drugs, money, prostitution. Uh, 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 I mean, anything, anything is wicked is their business. Anything. So the the uh, the fight of Israel with the with this wicked, uh, if we can call it party, is not going to be very easy. However, the Israeli they can force those wicked that if you don't go and agree with us to make a settlement, we will not let you do your business and we will chase you like rats. And that's what they would do. In order to fight such an organization sponsored by Iran, and they are extending all the way to Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon, you need a huge network of forces to fight it. This is international job, not Israel job. But because everybody is a coward potato, imagine, like why, uh, why America did not assassinate Nasrallah when he is the one behind the killing and the death of more than 240, 50 Marines in the American embassy. How come the Israeli can do what the American cannot? 
How come Trump did not do it? How come the French? He killed more than 50 French in one day, 50 soldiers in one day. So you have, you know, I don't want to use bad language, but you have an, a bunch of trash. They call themselves leaders, president, but in reality, they are a bunch of garbage. All what they care is just to do business. Let go. So those people, they grow. They are the cancer. We, we heard uh, uh, Nasrallah saying that Israel is the cancer. In reality, they are the cancer. They were so small tumor, and the tumor grow and grow and grow. And now it's all over, not only in Lebanon. It is in Syria. It's in Iraq. It is in Iran. It is in Africa. It's even in Venezuela. If you go right now, you will see they have in Venezuela camps, training camps in Venezuela. They have many training camps in South America, and they are converting even South America uh, uh, into Shiaism to join Hezbollah. This is way bigger than what you think. And because they have the money, and those people in, the, in South America, they are just poor. I mean, the same guy who work in drugs with the cartel for the sake of a dollar, he will not say no for somebody will give him better money. It's called Hezbollah. For him, it's the same. He has zero ethic anyway. So the, the invasion of, uh, of uh, Israel, which is obviously is going, you know, already, I believe, uh, as I said to you, there is a, they are preparing for, uh, they send the troops already inside Lebanon, uh, but a small number of, uh, let us say, special units to clean the area, to inspect the area, uh, you know, they, they have a name in the, in the army uh, for those who serve in the army. Uh, to inspect the area to prepare the way for the army, to give them real-time information in the ground, not only by, because a drone, it doesn't really give you enough information. It's told in the ground, you can find a lot of ambushes, a lot of traps, uh, uh, bombs uh, under the ground. So they have a high-tech, they have uh, even dogs with them, uh, who they are trained to sniff, you know, like explosion uh, expl expl uh, material. So the Israeli now preparing for something. Already they sent their own soldiers. And I think based on what they, will, uh, what they will receive from the soldiers about how easy it is, how fast they will go in. So if it is still the need to do some more clean, more bombing, they will delay maybe a few days. But if it is already clean, they will go immediately. I hope that's uh, the info I shared with you today is a little bit uh, helping uh, you know uh, I do my best to share with people who care to learn and you don't have to agree with me because I'm the last one to worry who agree who's, who you know who don't but I say the truth always all right uh, uh, Israel have to do something they, they they are late they should have it if I am the president of Israel I would do that from from long long time I mean, this Netanyahu is an idiot. In fact, he is the one who taught the terrorist to kidnap Israeli. When he released 4,000 prisoners for one, one Israeli soldier, look how stupid he is. So he told them, listen, we are willing to free 1,000 for one soldier. You stupid idiot. Never negotiate with terrorists. Because now you told them, kidnap more, kidnap women, kidnap children. And I believe now, actually, Hezbollah is going to seek revenge, but in a cowardly way, as usual. So they will attack a synagogue somewhere. Like they will see where is the weakest spot in the world, where there's a big synagogue, like maybe 500 people go there, 500 Jews, and they will put a car and destroy it. They are wicked. So the Israeli, they have a big, 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 huge mission, and they have to be worried about what those people can do, stepping them in the back. You can beat them in the war, but they can beat you by killing your civilians. They might kidnap your, you know, uh, 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 Jews. In like, if you go to Thailand, it's so easy. I mean, Thailand, eh, there's people coming from around the world, and police there is shish kebab. And there is no visa. Anyone can have a visa too. They don't need a visa. I mean, you can go just a flight to Thailand. So all those Hezbollah members, they can fly right now to Thailand, and there is a lot of Israeli in Thailand, or American, or any Western. So there is a very easy, soft spot to attack by those terrorists, and I am not 
like considering that this is not an option I think it's a very high option that such a thing will happen because they have to seek revenge they are evil they they they, they destroy a synagogue in Venezuela if you remember anyway not no, sorry not Venezuela Argentina um, let me see Argentina Yeah, this was in 1994. 1994. Let me see if I can find you something. 1994, let me be sure. Anyway, you can search it, you know, you can search it. I don't remember the exact date, but at, at least 200 Jews were killed, like, immediately. And it's done by Hezbollah. So why they wait until now? In fact, even last year, they were, the, the Argentinian government, they discovered that uh, uh, Hezbollah is, a, you know, is a preparing to do an attack, and they arrested many. And this is from 2004. <coughs> Let me see. Yeah, this is 2004, actually. If I post for you the link here, I will post it for you. I don't want to, you know. Uh, you can open it from your side. This is at, at 2000. No, this is actually this year. Hold on, this is this year. 2024. No, or publish maybe publish again about the news. But this is the this is the attack 1994. The whole Jewish community killed in two seconds in July 18. July 18. So this is this is this is I mean they were way less powerful than now. Now we are talking about them being massive in size. Do you see where their their octopus hands is going? Argentina. Everywhere. And I am sure they would do their best to kill as many Jews as they can, women and children. They could not beat them in war. They are wicked and they would do something else. So I'm warning people, like, you have to be careful. Those filthy scumbag. And maybe Israel should make it clear that if you do any attack anywhere against the Jewish, anywhere in the world, we are going to give you a massive attack you cannot imagine. Because this is the only way you can protect those civilians. You have to make it clear that it's going to be an eye for an eye. Otherwise, they will take your eyes in front of you. I'm not going to keep you longer. I hope you guys have a good time listening. Uh, I, I don't keep videos uh, of anything to speak about politics and war because YouTube don't like me, as you know. So if you like, you can download it. But after a day or two or three, you might see it is gone. All right. It's not because I am changing my opinion, but because they love me. All right. They love me a lot. A lot. They love me. So because they because they love me. Uh, if you want the video to stay, maybe you have a channel. You maybe you want to load it somewhere. Maybe you want to share it. Some download it. All right. Download it. Put it in your channel. Make you can make it private if you want, in case. But for sure, YouTube loved me very much. A lot of love. And not only YouTube. Anyone who hate Israel, they love me. <laughs> I 
All right. So uh, I'm really proud of, of the Israeli army, and I wish them the best. We pray for them, and we hope victory is going to come for everybody, and uh, Lebanon will be clean from this cancer. Uh, somebody have to do the job. Somebody have to clean the garbage. You know, like people, they look at those who clean garbage down, right? But reality, uh, you need them. Look here. Uh, the the Hezbollah, they keep hiring a new command. And the Israeli, they shoot their ass not even a 30 minute after or an hour after. I mean, from yesterday until now, they, I, I get bored about how many names they appear in the news. They killed this commander. They killed this commander. They killed this commander. Like, come on. I mean, how in the world they knew even where they knew everything about them. And remember, those guys, they are moving every day. They don't sleep in one place because they knew the Israeli are tracking them. Still the Israeli, you cannot run away. Nasrallah, he was 30 meters under the ground. And now they found his body, according to them. But I don't believe it. I believe there's nothing inside the coffin. I think this is a lie. They said his body is fine, but he is dead from uh, the pressure of the explosion, blah, 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 blah. I mean, what are you talking about? The whole the, the whole thing become dust. The concrete become dust. The, the iron melted. People, they saw the iron burning. Imagine the iron, the steel of the, of the concrete burning burning the iron i mean what kind of bombs and you and they are saying to you he was okay so they want to say it's a miracle from allah brother his body preserved you know anyway so i don't think even they will have anything in the coffin maybe some rocks i don't think they found him maybe they found maybe his butt one side and his hand if they can recognize it uh maybe his nose his toes here and there but there is no way inside the coffin there is a full dead body. And as you see, uh, they are hunting. All right? Like this guy. IDF killed another senior Hezbollah official, Beirut. Fresh. Okay. So this guy, uh, Nabil Kawuk, he, you know, they smoke him too. I mean, it's it become a boring news. Like how in the world, he is Israeli, why you don't finish them all together, man? That's it, like one news, like, okay, all the leaders are gone. So what happened, that the Israeli, they killed one, they hired another one. New guy, he took over the job. The Israeli, it looked like, you know, you remember the joke I told you? Like the Shia, uh, Hezbollah, they are fighting with the Jews. So the Jews, they are behind uh, the border. And they say, Ali, Ali stand up. The sniper, Jew, he shoot him. Boom. Then Ahmed, Ahmed, he stand up. The, the, the Israeli soldier, sniper, shoot him. Boom. Then the leader of Hezbollah, he is so smart. He said, we cannot keep doing this. What's wrong with you? Why when they say Ahmed, Ahmed stand? Why when they say Ali, Ali stand up? Next time if they say Ali, Ahmed stand up, not Ali. And suppose that will make a difference. <laughs> and this is what Hezbollah is doing right now. So they kill Ali, they put Ahmed. Ahmed died, they put Hussein. Hussein put, they, it doesn't matter, they call you by name. It doesn't matter who is going to be the leader, smart ass, Hezbollah. So switching names, changing names, it's still the same. They are getting them one after one. Potato. You better surrender before they fry you all. Wait. It's coming. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope you guys have a good time. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. God is good. So is Jesus. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.